this leak came in yesterday morning uh, being a consistent source of sound or, or noise. Uh, it was investigated by our field technicians and verified that it is a leak and was pinpointed and we're in the field today making the repairs on that leak. The acoustic monitors are installed on the fire hydrants uh, throughout the system. What the sensors do is they'll wake up uh, in the middle of the night between 2 and 4 a.m., uh, record data during the night listening for sounds of leaks. That data is then uploaded in the morning to the cloud, uh, to the user interface where it's, it's analyzed, and then it develops points of interest or potential leaks uh, which are identified in the user interface. Through monitoring that, that data, uh, we can potentially identify consistent sounds that could be a leak and then investigate. And I interact with the user interface daily and I review the data that comes in and I'm looking for consistency of a sound or abnormality within the system uh, that could be an indication of a point of interest or a potential leak in the field. Once I see a, a, a point of interest that's consistent, I will then submit it for a work order and for further investigation. The beauty of this technology is that it, it actually provides a location or a point to start an investigation. Previously, we'd be shooting in the dark. We may not even know that this leak existed because obviously on this leak, there's no water showing. This leak could have run for months, days, potentially years. Just in 2018, we've located over 198 leaks that majority of were not surfacing and would probably still be running had they not been located. New Jersey American Water traditionally has done leak detection in a method where we would go from point to point listening on services, hydrants, and valves. That's very labor intensive and typically it took us anywhere from two to three years to get through our entire water system. Our company has taken a strategic approach to deploying these sensors in the field. Currently, we're looking at the areas where we've had the most main breaks and historically where the pipe is the weakest. The program our company has currently has had multifaceted benefits. Firstly, we're able to lessen our, our impact to our customers. We're able to fix leaks on a scheduled basis, thus making the customer experience better. Also, we were able to produce less water. Right now, we've saved approximately, in production terms, about 2 million gallons a day of less system delivery because we have less leakage in our system. Our next steps are to expand the program. We've identified additional areas around the state of New Jersey where this technology will be beneficial to us and our customers. Aging water infrastructure requires investment and we spend about $300 million a year in our capital program to take care of aging, aging infrastructure, including pipes, valves, hydrants, and services. The Ecologics technology allows us to identify leaks while they're small. It also allows us to prioritize larger leaks versus small leaks. So if we're in an area where we have multiple leaks, we can say, let's identify which ones have the most impact. Is it surfacing? Is it large? Has it grown? What's the trend over time? Because we don't have unlimited resources in terms of trucks and crews and repair contractors. So we have to identify which ones have the most criticality. In our Washington system, we had a significant challenge uh, with leaks that actually resulted in us potentially exceeding our water allocation permit. Uh, we were staring at a million dollar investment for a new well. And the Ecologics technology essentially allowed us to identify over 400 gallons a minute of leaks. So to avoid a million dollar capital project and also get a return on an investment of less than a year was, was substantial. As pipes age, they're not gonna get any, any better. They are gonna break down at an increased rate. We've already seen that. Uh, we've spent over the last few years, hundreds of millions of dollars in upgrading our pipes, just our pipes alone. And that problem is not gonna go away. With 9,000 miles of pipe, and a replacement rate of approximately 1%, that's a 100-year replacement cycle. We have to continually invest and make sure our infrastructure is in, is in good enough shape to adequately serve our customers day in and day out. 